Hello, I'm Robin. Today I'll be your guide on installing BlueStacks. I had a couple of people request that I do this video in my Discord. Got a cat hair in my mouth. And I also uh, know quite a few people would benefit from this video. So what we're going to do is go to your Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, whatever it is that you have. Just type in Google. We're going to type in BlueStacks. The top link should be the correct one. I'll also put a link of this link as well in the description below just in case but you know at the top left it has the little lock here connection is secure so we know this is the legit website we're going to hit download blue stacks and depending on which uh browser you have it'll pop up but for me it pops up in the bottom left so i'm going to click this little drop down arrow click open and we're going to go ahead and get this installer going so we accept we hit yes and install now now, BlueStacks is for uh, Android usually or mostly. It's built for it, uh, especially because of the Google Play. But the thing that's nice about iOS and your iPhone is that if you have a Facebook and those are the mobile games that you're playing on, if you bound your account through Facebook, you'll be able to use a lot of the things that BlueStack has to offer as well. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time and we'll get right through this little installer. All right, welcome back. Now that you've installed your BlueStacks, we're going to go into the settings, and I have two little recommendations for you to do just uh, as a little, uh, you know, way to optimize your BlueStacks. So at first, we're going to go to the display settings in the top left. Make sure that we match our monitor resolution so we don't have any real issues with that. Currently, I'm running 1920 by 1080. We'll click Save Changes, Restart BlueStacks, and... Now we'll go back into the settings and do one more thing underneath performance right above display and make sure that we're running high on our allocation for CPU, memory, and performance. So make sure you go through all three of these, set it to high, mine is defaulted because I had already previously installed this, and we can enable high frame rate and match our 144 hertz monitor so we get the best out of this. And go ahead and display... FPS during gameplay just so we kind of monitor our FPS during our gameplay. Click save changes and restart. Now that you've installed your BlueStacks, you're going to want to go to the top left here, go to the Play Store and connect your Google Play or your Gmail account to this. All right, now that you've clicked the Play Store and signed into your Gmail, we can go ahead and find ever whichever game we play. Whichever game you want to play, you can find it on here. So I'm going to type in The Walking Dead Survivors. This is the game that I currently play. You guys should try it out if you haven't. It's pretty good uh, survivor uh, RTS real-time strategy game. We'll go ahead and click install. Now, the first time you install BlueStacks and apply your Gmail account, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get in sync with things, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it kind of looks like when I get into the game and how it, how it kind of connects. All right, The Walking Dead Survivors has now installed. I do not really like the overlay. Some people can use these overlays. These are keybinds. It's going to be under your game controls. Click right here. And click game controls off. I like to take those off. We'll go ahead and skip through this little process here. I just kind of want to show you guys how easy it is to connect your game. So depending on the game you're playing, usually they'll prompt you. This one has switched to an existing account in the top right. We're going to click that and we want to connect to our Google Play account. And this is where you have a little bit of time that it takes for you to sync your accounts. As you saw, mine just synced pretty quickly. It has my old uh, information on there. I just hit confirm and now we're in game. So we've already adjusted some of our performance, the CPU and the memory, and I hope that kind of helped you out with your gameplay. Some of the games you could play may also have similar uh, FPS advantages like this. So if I go into frame rate settings in the settings of my game, I can also have a higher visual appearance, which uh, incre increases the battery consumption. But obviously we're playing on a PC emulator, so it doesn't really apply to us. Back out of that, we applied those settings for The Walking Dead. And now I have a perfectly smooth game for The Walking Dead survivors. I hope this video benefited you guys. And if you did like it, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, or concerns, I can do my best to troubleshoot them with you. And I hope you guys have a great week, work week. We just came off a long weekend. We had the Labor Day weekend, so that was awesome. Now it's time to get back on the grind. I do post videos daily. I also have a Discord. It's a positive gaming Discord. We keep it pretty family friendly in there. It's it's an awesome place to be. You can find that in the a link for that in the description below. And you guys just have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.